We are now recording. What is what is up, people? As they end up leading off with Zapdos plus Primarina, Zapdos, I believe, maybe gets Taunt, but I'm not certain. I'm not certain if it does. I don't believe it does, so I should be able to trick him pretty reliably. I don't even think if they double into me, they knock me out. So I'll just go for it, man. Like, Gigalith goes stupid under Trick Room. Maybe I'm dumb, and because I rushed, I'm, like, going to make a really bad play here. But I think I have a, a decent lead. Especially if they Dynamax. I think they have to Dynamax if they want to knock me out. But yeah, how we doing tonight, guys? How we doing? As they withdraw, which is great news, to be honest. They send in the Celesteela, which is great news, TBH. They withdraw again. They just double out, and they're like, you know what, Marcos? I don't want to deal with this. It seems like garbage. I don't want to fight this. I would like to pick up an early KO here. It seems my Protect went to waste. I actually it might not even... Um, keep Gigalith in here. I brought my Incineroar, right? Did I did I bring my Incineroar? I don't know. I might have made an oops. But Incineroar goes insane in this matchup, so yeah. Let's do that. I'll send in the Incineroar and I'll go for a burn on the Rillaboom. Since I assume they would just double into me here. Yeah, I did bring Incineroar. Good. Good, good, good. Why Gigalith? Very interesting. So basically Gigalith I think is very undervalued in the current format. Uh, Gigalith provides a Pokemon that always underspeeds Glacier, is always able to take a hit and one-shot Glacier if you have your Dynamax and Weakness Policy. Essentially, it's a better... I think it's just a better um, Tyranitar in this format. In this particular format where Glacier exists and has fighting coverage, it's a better Tyranitar. Hey, okay, I can live with that. As long as you Grassy Glided... Grassy Glided? Glizzy Glid? Glizzy Glid. As long as you Glizzy Glid right there, I'm in a good spot. Oh, they just Dynamaxed. They said, hello, I don't want to win. <laughs> I've been having a lot of success with Gigalith, too. It's it's a solid Pokemon. And this is only one way to use it. Oh, come on. You're really going to do that to me, game? You're really going to do... You're, you're going to do that to me right now. They drum solo. Hopefully it's into Incineroar so I can Parting Shot and go for another burn. Awesome. I'm just going to Parting Shot. Like, what What do they do? What What do they... Honestly, what, what do they do? They could try to burn me, but I am stalling out their Dynamax. And if I have the Dynamax and they don't have the Dynamax, what do they do to me? They don't, they don't win. They don't win. Especially if I get both of these off, the Parting Shot and the Burn. Why Gigalith specifically over Stack Attacka or T-Tar? Uh, Gigalith provides Sand, which actually gives it a better special defense stat than um, than Stack Attacka in particular. And also, it actually takes the Max Quake better than Stack Attacka because it's not taking two times damage, or four times damage. As they withdraw, they're like, okay, okay, yeah, let's get them out of here. <laughs> Rillaboom was like, oh, am I drumming right? I, okay, I'll leave. <laughs> I still get the parting shot off, though, which is great. And the Will-O-Wisp, which, I mean, that's all right. It's not like I was going to put any other status on this thing. I'll also uh, just completely negate the grassy terrain. They go for a Leech Seed. I'm parting shotting out, so it's it's whatever. Party rockers are, are in the house tonight. Um, why did I say that? I don't know. I'm, I'm tired. Well, not really. I'm, I, I'm like loopy at the moment, because um, I took pre-workout, but I didn't realize that... I, I took my pre-workout, right? But I didn't realize how close to the stream I took the pre-workout, so I didn't get to finish working out. Today was bench day, so I'm still hyped up on that at the moment. So they're getting some recovery from my Dusclops. I would like to burn that Celesteela. And I think now's a good time to do it. I'll even switch in my Tapu Fini here. Try to waste a turn. Go for a Will-O-Wisp on the Celesteela. I don't mind them getting recovery off of Dusclops. As long as I'm getting it back up, you know? 
Oh, how the mighty monkey have fallen. Also, sup, Marcus? How you doing, Poketana? You see, what would be embarrassing is if I lost this. If, if I still managed to lose this, which is honestly possible considering what they have on their side of the field and the fact that I didn't get my burn off that first turn. If I got that burn off that first turn, I would have felt a lot better about my positioning, but Rillaboom is still a major threat. As they withdraw, monkey? Monkey? Monkey. <laughs> hey, monkey. Okay. I mean, I'm cool with the monkey. I'll land my Will-O-Wisp. Everything is getting burned. It is burned city. And I can just get in the Incinera here. They go for a Leech Seed. That's fine. Honestly, if I burn the monkey, I'm, I'm not in a bad spot. They might try to switch out here. If they go for a Grassy Glide onto the Finny, I think that's a huge throw. Because if I land this burn, their Rillaboom is absolutely useless. I can definitely see that. Like, Pre-Marina compared to Tapu Finny, they, they feel completely different. Pre-Marina is actually a major offensive threat without any setup. Where Tapu Finny is a bulkier Pre-Marina, has a better physical defense stat, is able to live a hit from Kartana if you invest correctly. But it's, it's just not as offensive or better in Trick Room. I think I have one more turn to Trick Room, speaking of which. Yeah, there's one more turn left to Trick Room. What I'll actually do here is just get in the Incineroar. And I'll try to burn. If they switch out on this burn, it's it's whatever, because I'm still in a position to win. So a Will O Wisp. If they give me the burn on this on this uh I almost said Tapu Bulu, on this Rillaboom, I'm I'm in such a good spot, man. I'm in such a good spot if they let me have this. As they withdraw, okay. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter, because let's let's think about this. What did they gain there? Unless they went for the knockout of my Dusclops, they didn't really gain much. I kind of hope they're physical on the, uh, on the thing, because that would actually be great. I get a Will-O-Wisp. Everything on their team but the Rillaboom is burned. This is actually hilarious. Go for the Leech Seed, that's fine. I'll just be parting shotting into you anyways. And it's at this point, I'm actually pretty... I'm, I'm pretty willing to switch out my Dusclops. I may even... I, hear me out. I may even switch in the, uh, the Gigalith. Do we have fake PG here? Yes, this is essentially just a fake PG team. Long live 2018, 2017. 2017, that's what it was. Because in 2018, no one used Gigalith. Rest in peace, Gigalith. Shout out, Gigalith. I don't even think a hurricane knocks me out right now. So. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. That's all right. In fact, I could Trick Room again, to be honest. What do they have to prevent my Trick Room? Let me do that. You know, I don't even need Dust Cops to win anymore. Let me Trick Room up. Or maybe. I don't want to risk them somehow knocking me out. I have to do this. I have to do it this way. They don't have Taunt on their Zapdos, right? They don't. Clicked on your Moltres video and realized you are streaming. Nice reminder. Hey, thank you. Hey, nice Rillaboom, bro. Nice Rillaboom. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna Parting Shot it. I think I'm gonna Parting Shot your Rillaboom. Please? This is not Poggers. Party poggers are not in the house tonight. Alright, so there is an upside and a downside. Upside is... They're probably going to give me my weakness policy. The downside is I just lost my Incineroar. <laughs> yeah, let me get in the Gigalith here. So this is a pretty iffy play. Um, I mean, here's here's how it goes, right? The Trick Room's up. If they Grassy Glide me, I one-shot them with Max Rockfall. 
Actually, let me do this. I'm going to max Rockfall the Gigalith, or the Gigalith, the uh, Zapdos to get whatever comes in. And I'm going to go for a Will-O-Wisp on the Rillaboom. Because what this will do is it'll cover a couple of things. If they decide to switch out... How do I say this? If I, if I go for the max Rockfall on the Zapdos, I get a KO, right? Whatever switches in doesn't matter. What I want to do is... Okay, something's getting hit really hard. Why Gigalith? This is the third time I've gotten that question. Gigalith, I think, is a very underrated Pokemon in the format. It underspeeds Glacier. It is very bulky on the physical side, allowing it to 1v1 it every single time. It's able to take hits on the special side due to the Sandstream. And the lack of a four times weakness to ground in fighting moves, like with Tyranitar and uh, and Stack Attacka, helps it out so much. That's, that's why I'm using Gigalith. Conics VGC, what's up, man? I can bulldoze now. Yeah, I can bulldoze and I can KO that that stupid thing. Honestly, I'm less concerned about the um the Celestila. Hmm, how do I do this? I think this is a very iffy play. Because a max Rockfall would KO that Celesteela. And I am taking a lot of damage at my Dust Clops that I don't want to take. But I also don't want to give them Leftovers. Or not Leftovers, but um, Leech Seed on my Gigalith. I think my play is to Rockfall the, um, the Celesteela to ensure it doesn't get any more out of this turn. And I'll actually switch in the Tapu Fini here. Yeah, Gigalith also does hit slightly harder. If they give me my weakness policy here, I'll actually be in a pretty good position to win. Because I can start clicking Steel Spike to KO everything. They go for the Moonblast. Awesome. Awesome. Special attack drop's a bit annoying, but I think I can still win this. Because they're just going to give me my weakness policy, right? I keep assuming they're going to give me my weakness policy, but I think that's asking for too much. Hmm. Metagross with rock coverage. I have not seen a single Metagross with rock coverage. Ground coverage is normal, but rock coverage sounds insane. Rillaboom. Yep. Uh, I'll focus down the Primarina here, because I can definitely take a Grassy Glide. And Primarina should not take a max rock fall from this range. I'm getting the Dust Clops. If he Grassy Glides my Gigalith, I actually would really like that, to be honest. If they end up going for Grassy Glide and the Tapu Fini, that's a little bit annoying. Rock Slide for Rotom Heats? I honestly didn't even know he got Rock Slide. Assault Vest. Choice Band. <gasps> no. Guys. Okay, no. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I might have lost. Choice Band might be the end of me. Choice Band might have just ended it for me. Gigalith, you're insane! You're insane, bro! <laughs> Someone clip that. Someone clip that. Gigalith is insane. He can't even Grassy Glide anymore. Oh my god. Can I win this? How many turns of Trick Room are left? If I have two turns of Trick Room, there's no way I lose. I think. And that's why you run Giggle. <laughs> yeah, it's a burn Zapdos. My, my Dynamax is over, so I can just Rock Slide and Nightshade, and if I land it, I win. I have one more turn of Trick Room. They can't protect the, um... They can't protect the Rillaboom, so I should always just double. Yeah, they just forfeit. Ah, 
Nice. We, we end up starting the night off with a win. We start off the night with a win. All right. So we are facing... And thank you for the follow, Ghost. So we're facing a interesting team. It doesn't have a Trick Room setter, but it has a Trick Room option, which is cool. Um, I believe I'm slower than... No, no. Mudsdale underspeeds Gigalith, right? Let me double check. Whoops. I am moving around my webcam. Or my webcam outline. Let me double check. Mudsdale speed. Thirty-five. Oh, I underspeed them. <laughs> I underspeed them. It's all good. All right. And thank you for the follow, um, Double Ward. I mean, my Trick Room mode is objectively the best mode here. I'll go Dust Clops. They don't really have a way of stopping it. Uh, Dust Clops. Do I want screens? I kind of want screens. I kind of, I kind of want screens, but um, I think I get more out of Incineroar. We'll go Gigalith and Tabu Finny, and that should be my play. So yeah, that should be good. The moment when the Dynamax Mons HP doesn't pop up on screen and you realize you missed, that is the worst feeling. Alright. Mudsdale Incineroar, I'm cool with that, because... Because, like, what, what, what they're going to do, you know? Their Intimidate. My Intimidate. Uh, and what I'll do here is I'll Parting Shot into the Mudsdale. I could actually burn the Mudsdale. I could just burn the Mudsdale and be in a good spot. Guadberry. Let me think. So I have a couple of options here. I could Parting Shot Will-O-Wisp and actually be in a way better spot than going for Trick Room, in my opinion. But I did bring Tapu Fini, so that might not be the play. Hmm. I think maybe I just Trick Room Parting Shot. And if they Dynamax here, that'll influence what I switch in. What if Raikou's cry was just a meow? It kind of is. He goes, meow. Okay, I should be faster than them. They might have gone for the fake out, though. Which I'm actually cool with. If they fake out and max quake me, I'm kind of cool with it. Yeah, there's the fake out. As long as I land my uh, burn, I should be alright. Because I kind of wall this thing. Is Scald on Raikou a solid choice to use? Eh, I don't think so. I don't think it really needs the water coverage. It's not really a Pokemon meant to take on other things on its own. You know, it's it's. I think it's functions best as a support. Okay, so we get our Sandstream off. Um, I don't think they stay in with their with their Incineroar. What I'll do here is go for a Will-O-Wisp on the Mudsdale, and I'll also go for a Max Steel Spike, and just kind of hope that they aren't running Burning Jealousy. I should underspeed the Mudsdale. And they should activate my weakness policy for me. And this should make it so I take pretty much no damage. If they're running Burning Jealousy, I pretty much already lost. Losing Incineroar is really big early game. I missed my Will-O-Wisp, which is annoying. Same accuracy as Muddy Water, so that's the same roll twice. Get a defense boost. Alright, uh, I definitely need to land this next one, though. Go for the Max Quake. Get my Weakness Policy. They're probably going to Parting Shot. If they have Burning Jealousy, I'm in trouble. Get 
my weakness policy. Okay, they darkest layer out, which is fine. I definitely have to go for another one of these. The defense boosts are way too important. They can't max guard either, so Will-O-Wisp and... They don't have a Finny, right? Let me double check. I'm pretty certain they don't. They do, n they do have a Finny, which they could switch in here. But I think that if they brought it... I don't think they brought it to this matchup. I have to just kind of hope. <laughs> we'll go for another Steel Spike in the Mudsdale. I'm probably wrong. I'm always wrong when I try to guess what they bring. In the back, at least. I'm, I'm very good at leads. I'm very bad at um, last two Pokemon. But you would think, after that previous Will-O-Wisp... Okay, no. Alright. So we burn them. Their attack's cut in half. I get another Steel Spike off. Good damage this time. They go for their Steel Spike. It's doing very little at this point, which is great. They go for the parting shot, which I'm, I'm okay with. As long as I'm still at plus one, it's it's all right. And I mean, they're probably just going to switch back in and get me back down to neutral, but it's it's all good. I can get good damage on whatever comes in. If it's Finny, I'll just Quake. Because it'll also catch the Incineroar in one shot. Yeah, there's the Finny. I'm a little bit surprised it didn't come in the previous turn. I'm actually very surprised, to be honest. Ooh, you know what would be really awesome? Knocking out that Tapu Finny. It can probably take a plus one Max Rockfall. But does it take Max Rockfall plus the Nightshade? That's the question. Because looking at what they have in the back... Looking at what they have in the back, I, I'm actually not in terrible in a terrible position. If I keep my Finny in a good spot, you know? So I'm going to Rockfall. I'm not going to worry about the Mudsdale. It's not a threat right now. They could just switch in the, uh, the Incineroar. But I think plus one Max Rockfall plus Nightshade should do it. And the Nightshade going first is huge. Because I think that's within range. Nice. Okay. So Finny being gone is really big. High horsepower. My Dynamax ends this turn, which means I'm prone to fake out. I think what I do here is I protect my Gigalith and get in my Tapu Finny. And it creates a situation where they kind of have to choose. Yeah, there's the Incineroar. He's going to bring me back down to neutral. I can get in my Tapu Finny here, and I'm actually in a really good spot. What matters to beating whatever's in the back is probably going to be Dusclops more than anything, funny enough. Incineroar is at nearly full health. That's hilarious. Let me get in my Finny, and I'm going to go for a Protect. Because they're just going to fake out into the... I think they would just fake out into the... Um, into the Gigalith, if not just Darkest Lariat, and try to KO me. Okay. There's the fake out. Awesome. There's the high horsepower. Phenomenal. Trick Room ends. Right? Trick room ends, right? Please, please tell me Trick room ends. Mudsdale has two quakes under its belt, right? Yeah, it has two quakes, and it has an assault vest. Does it live this hit? That kind of matters a lot here. I'm going to go for a muddy water and a rock slide. Hopefully I don't miss my rock slide, because it will matter. <laughs> it will matter quite a bit. I can take any hit from the Incineroar, barring a parting shot. Which would actually mess up my plan quite a bit. Um, I don't know if Mudsdale is within range. It really depends on the spread, I think. Mudsdale is a very bulky Pokemon. It has really nice HP. 
And with an Assault Vest at plus two, it's essentially got three times special defense, so. Ooh, okay, Tapu Coco. I'm about to nail it with this hit. It won't enjoy Rock Slide plus Muddy Water if I KO this, uh, if, if I KO this Mudsdale. If I get an Accuracy Drop, that's even better. Land the Muddy Water. I don't KO the Mudsdale, which is really annoying, but my Rock Slide should still go off considering they're doing very little damage to me. I connect the Rock Slide and the Coco. And that plus Sand Chip damage in a couple of turns should seal the deal. I just have to keep Tapu Fini healthy. Sandstorm subsides, which is a little bit sad. <laughs> That's a bit sad. And Tapu Fini can take any single hit from the Coco as long as they don't have terrain up. So I think it's always my play to switch out the Finny for um, Dusclops. And I'll protect here since it gives me a little bit more time to work. Why is getting a Safari Ball so difficult? I don't know, man. Life Orb. Okay. I should take a hit as long as it's not physical. And even if it is physical, I might still take the hit because it's Tapu Finny, you know? There's the Fake Out. There's the Thunderbolt. Does a lot. Oh, wait, they're Life Orbs, so regardless of what happens, they get KO'd this turn. I think I'll take this opportunity to uh, Trick Room up. And uh, we'll attempt to Rock Slide, because if they attack, they go down. <laughs> I forgot about that. If they attack, they just go down. Cool. I put down my controller, because I just won. So, yeah. All right. There's the Darkest Lariat. I don't know what they expect to do versus Tapu Fini. Watch my Tapu Fini miss literally every single Muddy Water from this point on. And I just get chipped down. Misty Surge. Alright, yeah, I just spam Muddy Water and win. I have 16 of them. Safety Goggles, Latios, and Latios sounds really cool, actually. That sounds really interesting. It might be something I need to experiment with. Alright, so we pick up a win there. Almost out of my annual Great Ball Tier Ladder. Or not annual, my monthly Great Ball Tier Laddering session. 